Hi, I'm Dr. Heath. I'm a psychoanalyst. Today's session is about procrastination. And since Cleo has a paper due in the morning, I bet she can give us a good example of this procrastination stuff. Let's check in with her and see how she's doing. Hey Cleo, how's that paper going? I'm going to do it in a second. I'm going to sort these socks first. There's a lot of socks. Wait, isn't that paper due in the morning? Well, yeah, but I'm just going to do this real quick. Oh look, I think I found a pair. People do this all the time. You know there's a deadline and you have to get that paper done. But somehow, I have to do this other thing. I know, I get my laundry done whenever there's one of these videos due. I honestly haven't felt like doing my homework. I'll do it, like, later. <laughs> or maybe tomorrow morning. This will only take a few more minutes. I mean, I already have one pair. <laughs> Do you realize what you're doing? Nothing less than the amazing feat of time travel. Coursing back and forth through time so you can slow the approach of the deadline. Except that it doesn't work. So what would drive such a desperate attempt? What if you have doubts in yourself? Cleo has to put a thousand words on this blank piece of paper. I always get like stuck when I write papers and essays and stuff. Cause I don't know, it's just like hard and I always forget what it, like I'm writing about. That blank page really isn't so scary. It's certainly not worth building a delusion around. If you're going to procrastinate, set a time limit and keep the task in mind. It's all about balance. It may help to distract yourself for a little while as long as you know what you're doing. See, that's the thing. I have been, like, thinking about what I'm going to write. And I can get the laundry done. I'm here on Thursdays, 7 Central, here on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. And please consider contributing. I've got a Patreon page. Please check it out. The link should be here on the screen. See you next time.